Welcome back. Let's continue. So now I'm going to show you a little trick to make your schematic even better. Uh, let's go ahead and exit emulation mode. And we're going to take this output LED and we're going to drag it over room one and hold the control key down. So as you can see, that hover over says, hold the control key to assign controller region. We're going to do that. And we're going to do that for each of our rooms. And what this is going to do is, uh, once we enter emulation mode, it means that um, once we move our walls, it's going to take the style of the LED and make the room light up with the uh, corresponding color of the LED. So let's go ahead and enter emulation mode again. And as you can see, all of our rooms are now red. Now let's put our walls back up and see what happens. So all of these rooms are now a darkened out color. So and if we open up wall one, both of these are going to turn red. And if we open up wall three, as we did before, all of these are going to turn green. We can do this with wall four and wall two. And if we take away wall one, all of these should turn red now because now they're sharing the same audio signal. You can see how easy this is going to be for somebody to use even if they don't know a whole lot about audio networking. You can use an interactive floor plan like this to control where the room audio is going. Really, all you're limited by is your creativity. For instance, if you didn't want to create a floor plan like this, but you wanted to create some presets, you can do that with a room combiner. Let's go ahead and exit emulation mode. And we're going to go back to our room module properties by clicking on this and going over to room combiner control properties. And we're going to add a fifth wall. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down here, pull our button out. Let's say that we want this button to open up all our walls so that all four of our rooms are sharing the same signal. The way we're going to configure that is by entering emulation mode. And then let's label this 1, space 2, space 3, space 4, which means that this button will combine room 1, 2, 3, and 4. Let's go ahead and put this back the way it was and test out our button. So we're going to open up our wall. Lo and behold, now all four of our rooms are sharing the same signal, and that's signified by this red color. Okay, so one thing we didn't talk about was these link buttons uh, inside the control panel. These are these pink buttons right here. You can actually control which elements are combined between the rooms. Let's go ahead and emulate to show you what I mean. This, uh, this link button is pink, which means that all of these are linked. So if I were to click the mute button, all of them would be unmuted. However, if I unlink them, I'll have individual control over each room. Even though that the audio signal is still shared, I can control these components now that I'm unlinked. Same thing with the gain. Right now, all of these are linked, so when I adjust the gain, all of them move in tandem. But if I unlink them, I can control the gain of room three without affecting room one, two, and four. So that's the room combiner. I hope you have a better understanding of how this works and you feel comfortable using it in more complex scenarios. Thank you and we'll see you next time.